Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending your time with me. And this channel is about learning how to take care of your bottom end, learning about your bottom end health. And I want to give helpful, useful and real information to help you deal with any issues that you may have. Today's topic is a question that was brought up and it's a darn good question. <laughs> the question is, can grade three or grade four hemorrhoids go away with creams or with banding? And this is a great question because I know this answer is not on the internet. Um, Let's break it up first, shall we? So that we can put it all together and then come up with an answer. So let's talk about creams and banding. The creams I'm sure you're uh, very familiar with. They're found at your local pharmacy or grocery store like Tux pads, Witch Hazel cream and pads, Preparation H creams. There's even some numbing creams that you can get. Um, there's even some steroid creams you can get from your doctor uh, and some other things that you can get that are prescription. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing is hemorrhoid banding. And briefly, that is a procedure where you suck up the hemorrhoid into an instrument, a tool that the doctor uses, and then a rubber band is placed at the very bottom of that hemorrhoid. The idea here being that when you put the rubber band on, the hemorrhoid does not have any more blood supply. And so anything that doesn't have blood supply essentially dies. The hemorrhoid then is shrunken down and can make things better for you, right? Uh, and the creams essentially, uh, you apply it to the hemorrhoid and there's different actions that each of the creams can do, but overall it's to decrease the amount of discomfort and improve the inflammation that's going on down there, right? So the last part of the question deals with grade three or grade four hemorrhoids. So grading hemorrhoids is a grading system and we classify them from grade one to all up to grade four. So grade one are the smallest hemorrhoids. They are essentially flat. They are not very big at all and they're just a little bit inflamed. So the bigger ones like grade three, these hemorrhoids are a bit larger and they come out to the outside, they pop out. But when you push them back in, they actually stay in. And the key difference here between grade two and grade three is grade three, you have to do the job yourself. They do not hide back in the house. You have to push them back in. But once you get them in, they stay in. Grade four hemorrhoids, there are even larger hemorrhoids. And what do they do when they're larger is that when they come out of the house, they stay out. Even if you try to push them back into the house, they just want to come right back out, okay? They said they don't like living in the house anymore. They want to move out. And so you see that the grade three and grade four larger hemorrhoids giving more problems. Okay, so the question says, can we have grade three hemorrhoids or grade four hemorrhoids go away? So the going away portion, I'm assuming this person means, can they disappear? Can, is this a proper solution to treating them and making them go away, meaning permanently gone? A good solution, right? I don't want just a temporary fix or temporary type of, um, you know, masking it. I want it to go away which certainly makes sense because hemorrhoids, we know that if they, are, if, there's, if they are not treated, then they can keep getting larger, right? And that's where we are at with the grade three and grade four. 
So let's put it all together now. Can we make grade three, grade four hemorrhoids disappear? Be treated, be dunzos, with creams and with banding. The answer to that question is unfortunately no. Why is that? So let me explain that part. Let me explain the answer here. Creams in general do not make hemorrhoids disappear. We know that hemorrhoids are blood vessels. So if we had a cream that made blood vessels disappear or scar them down and make them disappear, then we, somebody is going to win an incredible award because there are so many hemorrhoid sufferers to have accomplish something like that. Oh my goodness, everybody would have it. It would be just a godsend, right? But the creams primarily will lessen the symptoms. They lessen inflammation. They will try to, they uh, have an action to try and shrink down or clamp the vessels, make them a little bit smaller, a little squeeze. Uh, and it's meant to try and get through those times where the hemorrhoids are really flared up, excited, and you start to feel all that burning and itching and wetness down there, okay? So they really don't do anything to the hemorrhoid itself except to try and get them to calm down a little bit thereby bridging you to your recovery and so you feel better faster, okay? And unfortunately, if you wanted to really attack the blood vessel, like for example with banding or with injection, then you're actually doing something to try and get rid of the hemorrhoid, right? But in my opinion, banding is not an effective form of treatment for grade three or grade four hemorrhoids. Why? Banding is really advertised, almost advertised in the internet as like the best treatment. It's minimally invasive, no pain, no surgery, this and that. Grade three hemorrhoids, if they're able to slide to the outside, they are quite substantial in size already. Okay, in my opinion, great banding is best done for the smaller hemorrhoids like grade one or grade two. There are always exceptions to every rule, but in general, when you have the mouth of the hemorrhoid band instrument, it is not that large. And so the hemorrhoid is pulled into the mouth of the instrument, right? But the rubber band is often not strong enough to cinch down on the bottom of a very large hemorrhoid. These rubber bands are super teeny. They are smaller than the rubber bands you use for braces, if you're familiar with that. Very, very small. And so I find that with these larger hemorrhoids, you can get complications with bleeding because the rubber bands are so small, they actually rip the blood vessels in your hemorrhoids causing a bigger flare sometimes, or the rubber band pops off. And so it did absolutely nothing. And so you wonder why you don't feel better, or you wonder why like, hey, like that, that was an awfully quick recovery. Did anything even happen? Um, and so I believe that is why a specialist like myself, a surgeon would, has a better idea of what these grades mean, what we see in through the scope when we look at your hemorrhoids because we do surgery on them. We know what's big enough and what's not big enough. And I think that's the key with banding is, is very, very effective. No kidding about that, very effective, but it's gotta be done in the right, for the right reasons, okay? For the right hemorrhoids. But, and so, like I said, creams don't make them go away. They help you get through the flare better by calming down the symptoms of the flare. The banding is not very effective for this size of hemorrhoid. And so, to answer that question fully, that is why the larger hemorrhoids typically need surgery in order to get rid of them, because these methods are not very effective for hemorrhoids of that size. And so, like I said, there's always exceptions to every rule. I've treated grade three hemorrhoids in different ways, but 
the patient is the number one factor here because a lot of it has to do with considering the patient's preferences, talking about your habits, and then considering all your options of treatment, okay? There are many patients who decide not to have surgery. I have patients that decide they want to go another route. You know, maybe they want to try injection instead, you know, because they're having bleeding issues. These are very um, personalized, I should say, treatments and because everybody has different goals. Not everybody lives the same life and not everybody feels the same way about their hemorrhoids. Some people, it's a huge deal, you know, it bothers the heck out of them. Other people, eh, they don't care. I still do what I need to do every day. You know, I go to the store, you know, I, I do, I go in my garden and I, I just, I could care less. They don't even, I don't even notice them except when I shower. And so each person's preferences, I feel like need to be matched up to the treatment and therefore you can have a really good discussion about the pros and cons. So again, that was an excellent question to discuss. Not as easy as just saying yes or no, because I think that's the beauty of my specialty is I, I like talking to my patients. I like figuring out what, what, is, what are you about, you know, and so many different conversations, things come up, it's never the same. And, that, and I, that's why one of the reasons I love my job. And so I thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe the, to this channel. It really helps it to grow and we are growing big. So thank you again. See you next time. Bye-bye.